Are you in a season of brokenness? Maybe you're going through some grief or loss and you're just having a really hard time, but you're also simultaneously taking care of all of your responsibilities and serving in your local church. And you feel like you're burning the candle at both ends of the wick and you're just waiting and crying out and desperately asking God for a break, for healing, for strength, for comfort, for peace. I've been there. I was actually surprised because God called me out of a season of serving and into a season of stillness with him where I just sat at his feet. I had to shut down that burden and that pressure that I was going to get judged by my local church. I had to shut down that burden and that pressure of who was going to take care of those responsibilities if I didn't show up. I also had to shove down that burden and that pressure that says if I'm not serving, I'm not a part of it. There's a lot of those messages that we get sent that cause us to not be able to really hear what the Lord is saying to each of us individually in each season. And I'm telling you that season was mind blowingly powerful because Jesus met me in such incredible ways. He healed me to complete wholeness so that when I was out of that season, I wasn't dragging, just trying to go through the motions of life. I was empowered. I was filled. I was strengthened. I was healed. And I was able to get back into my race and serve with my whole heart, not from a place of brokenness, but from a place of wholeness. And I want to encourage you today, if this is speaking to you, if, if, if I am speaking into your season and you're saying, that's me, I am really, really struggling and I'm feeling stretched thin, I want to encourage you to stop and get with him and ask the Lord what he has for you in this season because he might just be calling you into a season of stillness and rest so that he can minister to your heart so that you can get back up whole and strong.